Uh, readings and salutations everyone, Amadeus484 here, and welcome to a Nuclear Throne Daily Challenge. Now, um, I hope to get one video out per day, but if not, I hope you guys don't mind, um, and hope you guys uh, have fun with this video. Anyways, I just remembered that I forgot to tell you a bit about myself in the last one, so here it goes. I'm on day is 484. I enjoy games, mostly classics, some modern, and I love to have fun. That is all, my guess. Hope you enjoy my videos. Anyways, Nuclear Throne is a fun little game that involves you destroying all enemies in each level to go to the next one. The goal is to find the fabled Nuclear Throne. Levels are randomly generated, and you have 12 different playable characters who are as follows. The first is the random character, who picks a random character, obviously. Next is Fish. He is a fish. Duh. His primary ability is that he gets more ammo from pickups and chest, and his right-click ability is that he can roll, giving a bit better movement and dodge uh, out of enemy fire. Next is Crystal. She starts out with more health, and her right-click ability is to put up a shield that deflects most attacks. Eyes. His ability is that he can see almost perfectly in low-light levels, hence all the eyes, like the sewers and the lab. His right-click ability allows him to move items, chest, and radiation towards him while moving enemy bullets away. I'm not really used to him, but I guess he can be fun in some situations. Next up is Melting. Melting's a very fun guy. He may start off with the least health and he can usually die in one hit, but he gets more radiation and as such can level up quicker. Plus his right-click ability causes all the corpses on the screen to explode. Yay booms! Next up, Plant. This character is a bit cumbersome for me. Moves a bit faster than the rest, and his right click creates a sneer that traps enemies. Guess you can get used to that ability, I just can't. Next up is YV, or Young Venus. This is a character from another game from Vlambeer, Gungots. He is a good damage inducing character, able to shoot his weapons faster. His right click ability, Pop Pop, causes weapons to do a double shot. Only problem is, it's a bit touchy on automatic weapons, causing them to only fire one shot, and uh, doesn't work on melee weapons, which is kind of sad. Needless to say, don't do melee weapons with him. Mm. Steroids. This guy is definitely for people who want a lot of damage. Starts off with more ammo and with a bit for every weapon type. He also deal wheels and his other weapon is fired with the right button. One of my favorites. Next up is Robot. This little guy is interesting, as he tends to find better weapons dropped from enemies and in chests. His right-click ability eats the weapon that is currently wielded, giving him more health. Unique and a bit fun. Next up is Chicken. She is a very good melee character, starting with a sword that does a bit less damage than a wrench. She also doesn't die quite like the other characters, and instead her head gets cut off, allowing you to control her for a few seconds more. If you grab a health pack while in this stage, she is revived, but with one less maximum health. Right click ability throws her weapon, doing some pretty good damage. Next up is the Rebel. This character is good for people who get injured a lot, as she can heal a little bit when entering a portal at the end of the level. Right click spawns an ally at the cost of one health. Too bad their AI is dumb, but what do you expect? Next up is Horror. Or is a character for people who like to have more options when leveling up as he gives 5 mutation options per level instead of 4. His right click fires a radiation bolt at the cost of some radiation experience. Last but not least is Rogue. She is a very hard character as she doesn't get the radiation charge that other characters get. She also is hunted by the IDPD or Interdimensional Police Department from the start whereas other characters are hunted later on. She has a blast armor that does a small explosion when she gets hit, and her right click ability does a portal strike which does explosions in a line. Instead of radiation canisters, she gets canisters that give an extra portal strike. Anyways, on to the game. I'm going to do one, maybe two practice runs, uh, and then I'm going to start the uh, daily challenge. I think for today, hmm, you know what? I want a unique experience. Let's do melting. All right. Let's see what we can do damage-wise. Come on. Uh-oh. 
grab the experience. I'm going to call him Mulligan for that one. Nobody saw that. Alright. One of the issues that I have with the melting is that I sometimes forget about his right click ability, causing me to forego it in place of just shooting and eventually getting killed. Fortunately, he can also destroy the props around him, so, for example, the radiation canister. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a wrench. Let's get more ammo. And let's do a little melee. Just saw a crossbow. Crossbows are one of my favorites. And one of my favorite abilities to go along with the crossbow. Bolt Marrow. Mm, this is gonna be good. Uh, well, crud. Next one. I'm beginning to regret uh, doing melting for the daily challenge. Fortunately, this is just practice, but I said I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. Even if it kills me. Or melting, either or. Ooh, level two. More bullets. Die, 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 and another wrench. Sometimes these runs get a little similar, at least so it feels like. But yeah, you can see how squishy the melting is. What do we get? All right. Euphoria, slower enemy bullets, last wish, full health and some ammo, hammerhead, push through a limited number of vaults, or a better accuracy. I think I'll take eagle eyes. Okay. Another try. Up indeed, melting. Up indeed. Alright. This run feels a bit promising to me. Then again, the nose. Nice, for sure. Nether wrench. Ooh, laser fist. Eat laser. Boiling veins, that might be a bit useful. Hammerhead, push through a limited number of vaults. I don't really care for this one. Ooh, for max HP. Or some kills regenerate health. For max HP, please. Alright. Boom. Die, 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 die. Thank you for dying. Alright. Definitely a bit more promising this time. Or so it feels like to me. Probably gonna die soon in this case. Boom. Come on, something good. Hmm. Rabbit paw, more item drops, strong spirit, prevents death, back muscle, higher ammo max, and of course the previously mentioned boiling veins. I like the more item drops. Alright, come on. Uh -oh. Big and nasty. Come on, bye. Thank you. Oh yeah, definitely promising. Just hope that the daily is not gonna kill me too soon. If so, I'm gonna be sad. Quite sad. Alright, two 
two more guys. And what do we got? Slower enemy bullets. Enemies touching you take damage. I don't like that because that involves me taking damage. Melee range and more speed walk normal on all terrain. I think I'll take extra feet. Adjust headphones. And let the slang of rats begin. Come on. Good run. Yeah, I'm definitely going to start the daily after this one. Regardless of uh, how good I do here. Even though I am doing a lot better than my previous runs. Alright. Now, as I was saying earlier, I like the uh, crossbow, but I like it a lot better when you have the bolt mirror ability, which does um, uh, homing bolts, which is very good for people who have issues with aiming, like myself. In next level, yes. Now the robots here, these guys are not really all that fun because they explode when they die. Which means I have to avoid their deaths. Anyways, as I said, I'm going to start the um, daily challenge now. So, get to the menu. Play. Daily run. Melting. Yeah, let's do this. Hopefully I won't die in the first few levels, like I have been. Boom. Alright. So far so good. Got some good weapons. And decent amount of ammo. In. It is cold indeed. It is cold indeed. Alright. Death comes to you. Quickly and easily. Just like it just came to me. Well, crap. I doubt I did that well this time. In fact, I'm sure I did quite horribly. Let's see my ranking. 327. And I'm betting that this will be 3000 coming up shortly. Anyways, I guess I'll do it today. As always, I hope you guys have a good day and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and comment if you liked the video. Farewell and see you next time.